In a cozy little village, there was a bustling toy store called Toymaker's Delight. This store was famous for its extraordinary collection of toys, each unique and cherished by children far and wide. Among the toys, there was a patchwork teddy bear named Benny. Benny was stitched together with different fabrics, making him one of a kind. His button eyes sparkled with kindness, and his heart was filled with warmth. Benny was friends with the other toys in the store, but he always longed for a special friend of his own. He believed that friends came in all shapes and sizes, just like the toys in the store. One sunny morning, the toy maker, Mr. Grumble, announced a grand event, the Great Toy Parade. Each toy was invited to participate, and the prize for the most outstanding toy in the parade was the Golden Ribbon. The toys in the store were excited, especially Benny. He had always dreamed of being part of something grand, and this was his chance. With enthusiasm in his heart, Benny began to prepare for the parade. He tried on different costumes and practiced his parade wave. But every time he looked at himself in the mirror, he wondered if he could ever be outstanding enough to win the golden ribbon. One night, while Benny was sitting on a shelf, he overheard a conversation among the other toys. The wooden soldiers were discussing their grand uniforms and synchronized moves while the wind-up ballerina was perfecting her graceful twirls. Benny sighed, feeling like he didn't quite fit in with the other toys. He was a patchwork bear, after all, and he couldn't perform synchronized moves or graceful twirls. As Benny gazed out the window, he noticed a flicker of light in the distance. It was a firefly, dancing in the meadow. Benny admired the firefly's unique and beautiful light show. He realized that the firefly didn't need a fancy uniform or synchronized moves to be outstanding. The next morning, Benny approached the firefly and struck up a conversation. They quickly became friends. The firefly, whose name was Luna, admired Benny's patchwork and unique appearance. Benny shared his dream of participating in the Great Toy Parade, and Luna encouraged him. She said, Benny, you are outstanding just the way you are. Your patchwork makes you unique, and that's something to be proud of. With Luna's support, Benny decided to join the parade as himself, a patchwork teddy bear. He would showcase his uniqueness, just like Luna did with her light show. On the day of the Great Toy Parade, Benny walked proudly down the street, waving to the cheering crowd. The other toys performed their synchronized moves and graceful twirls. But Benny stood out with his warm smile and patchwork charm. The judges were captivated by Benny's authenticity and awarded him the golden ribbon. Benny couldn't believe it. He had won, not by trying to be like the others, but by being himself. The other toys congratulated him, and Benny realized that true friendship and acceptance came when you embraced your uniqueness. From that day on, Benny, Luna, and all the other toys became great friends. They learned that friends did come in every shape and size, just like the toys in the store. And the most outstanding quality of all was being yourself. And so, dear children, remember Benny's story when you're making friends. It's not about trying to be like everyone else, but about embracing your uniqueness and appreciating the differences in others. The truest friendships are built on acceptance and being yourself.